Hello, and welcome to Deploy Intune 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Intune as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. My name is Roy, and this video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. We start this episode here, looking at Microsoft's documentation website, which describes steps to set up device categories for Intune. Device categories allows an organization to easily manage devices which can span multiple use cases. For example, let's say I'm about to deploy 300 company-owned iPhones, 100 for marketing, 100 for IT, and 100 for sales. Each department may have varying policies and application requirements. To facilitate such a task, I configure device categories to automatically add devices to groups based on their use case. During initial enrollment, the user simply selects their respective department then the device will enrol and install the necessary policies and apps. In order to configure device categories, we open up our endpoint manager console. We select devices, scroll down within the sub menu under other, we select device categories. As part of this training video, we will create three device categories for our fictional organization. One for marketing, one for IT, and one for sales. We go ahead and select create device category. We will start with marketing. Give the category a short description. Press next, select the default scope tag, press next, review our settings and then we press create. OK, so we have our three device categories created. To enable device categories to drop devices into their respective Azure Active Directory groups, we must first create the Azure Active Directory security groups within Azure Active Directory. In order to do this, sign into your Azure Active Directory tenant Select Groups, New Group, Group Type is Security, and for our fictional organisation, we will call this group Marketing Devices. We will give the group a short description. For the next setting, Azure AD roles can be assigned to this group. We will keep this selected as no. Under membership type, we want to hit the drop down and select dynamic device. Be careful here not to select dynamic user. 
because the whole point of device categories is it's the device that is coming in and telling Intune where it needs to enroll. So we are creating a membership rule for devices, not for users. So we select device, uh, dynamic device. We will leave the owner selected as no. Under device, under dynamic device members, we will select add dynamic query. Within the query builder here, under the property column here, we will select the drop down. We will select device category. Under operator, we will select equals. Under value, we want to enter the name of the device category. Flicking back to our endpoint manager console, we can see we have marketing, IT and sales. Obviously, we have created an Azure AD group for marketing and so we will enter that into the value. Click away from the text box. Under rule syntax, you will see the membership rule has been built for you. Quickly review that to make sure you are happy and then press save. Now press create. Excellent. That group has now been created. What this means is when a user from the marketing department receives their brand new iPhone, they enroll that iPhone via company portal. Company portal will say to the user, hey user, which category would you like to select? That user will then select marketing. When the device has completed enrollment, Azure AD will drop the device and add the device as a member into this group. Of course, what we will have done prior to the enrollment is created policies and added iOS applications and assigned those articles to this one marketing group. How that translates on the device is once enrollment is complete and the device is added to the marketing group, simply the policies and applications destined for those devices will begin to enroll and install.